Yeah, so I'm on the 08 uh, Sonata, uh, doing the uh, front uh, control arms, uh, the struts, and then the uh, the end links, the sway bar. So, show you that. All right, this is the parts. Right there, the strut from Rock Auto. Control arm. That. It's got a little plastic cover you take off. It's got a new nut. And then uh, the end link. Okay. On the end link though, these nuts are really tight. So what I did is I went ahead and while it's out, I went ahead and put, you know, tightened the nut all the way down. It's still going to be snug, but I thought it would help make it a little easier when it's installed. Um, then it's got these little fittings, these grease fittings. Um, there's no threads in here, so you got to just carefully start them because they're not they're not inserted, they're not installed yet. So you just gradually get them going and slowly turn them to get the threads going. Okay, and then what you could do is when you put it in there, you can get it the grease fitting to fit on the right side towards the uh, back of the car. So when you go to grease it up, the fittings are easy to get to. Okay, and then that one is uh, not so light. It's um, 809, or it looks like 1809.49. Okay, that's the part number for that. And then let's see the control arm, doorman one. Okay, and then let's see for the strut. Okay, that's the strut there. Alrighty. So, of course, uh, jacked it up. Okay, I got the jack, some stands, and I just I throw the tires underneath. Extra safety there. And I got uh, a rock in the back wheel on the other side. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll start up here. Okay, so what I do is start just WD-40 in the, the nuts here. Okay. And down in here too. Bolt for the control arm. I'll just go ahead and spray all down there. Both sides. Okay, this one too. There. Okay, and you get in here and you get the sway bar, uh, the end link right here. Whoa. Okay, so we'll spray that. Got cardboard, it's kind of catching the stuff. Uh, let's see, so and then there's uh, there's three, uh, I think they're twelves. Okay, there's three of these for the brake hose. You gotta undo those. So I'll go ahead and spray that. Spray that. And then, uh, let's see. Right along the back here, this nut. So it's right there. So that's one hole in the wishbone. And then the strut sits up in there. So anyway, I'm gonna spray this to the wishbone. Okay. And then we gotta do, let's see, for right here. This is uh this is for the strut. Like that's 17. Okay, there's no nut in the other side, it's self threading. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to spray this. This is what's going to hold to the bottom of the strut in. Okay. 
so that's what I did there. So first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead get the cutter pin off of here. Okay. So I'll get the cutter pin and then get this this nut off. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and do that first. And then I'm going to get these these little twelves, I think they were. There's three of them there, and then along the back to remove the brake line to kind of get that out of the way. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, let's see. so to remove, see the upper control on the ball joint there. I got a pulley, and then I'm just going to tighten it pop this out. I was the other side I was hitting with a hammer. Didn't do it. Yeah, it's pretty snug. Yep, came loose already. And the bottom under here the kind of rounded so it's not really sitting sitting in there good yeah this is gonna maybe all right well let me see try it with the hammer but All right, so what I'll do is, yeah, I'm gonna just keep going with this to get this. And then what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna get the strut out. Show you that, there's a, uh, so the top's, top's easy. It's got the three, but let's see. So what I'll do is, um, See down here, the lower control arm, it's a 19. So I'm gonna get that out. Um, and then what you can do is, you can use a punch. Okay, once you get the nut off, you can just use a punch here. Okay, once you get the nut and then slide that. And then for up here, okay, yeah, like the 17 just right here and then this is gonna let the let the strut slide out of the wishbone here so I'll go ahead and do that and then I got a jack under here okay just under the control arm there just a little bit of tension okay all right so I'll go ahead and do that and I'm gonna obviously I gotta work on this so uh, other side took a little doing too so all right, all right. So I loosen the the nuts up on the top of the strut here. Okay, this is just loose. Alrighty. Now I got this out um, with the pulley. Okay, so what I did is I just put the nut here. Okay. Now let's see if I can find the. All right. So see how it slid in there. And then this way it's not going to slide off. Okay, you just got these wheels up here. You know, like it was. Just get them around the sides. And then, bam, just comes right off, so. Yeah, it might be a little loud when it breaks free, but. Yeah, that worked nice, so. I'll leave that. Um, and then also on the brake lines, this front one, this bracket, you can leave this one on one towards the front of the car and then this bracket goes on to the it goes on to the um, the wishbone that little uh, 12 there I think it's 12 yeah and like I said and then on the one on the back I did that 
Okay. And uh, 17 for the wishbone. I got that loose. And then the bottom right here. One head um, got an old. Uh, where is it? I got an old ratchet or uh, wherever it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's an old uh, Craftsman torque wrench, and I just use that. Okay, with the 17. And then I got a pry bar in the back. This pry bar head. Um, no, I think that's 19. So this is 19. The one for the wishbone is 17. So I just had this. Just put it on the back on the nut. And I turn it and broke it free. Okay, and I'll give you the torque settings for those. And like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get uh, get my punch wherever it is. Yeah, that's what takes the time. Just finding tools, you know. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through here and just punch this out. All right, and then uh, go ahead and show you. Just basically easy to take this tread out. So. Alright. Alright. So I forgot about the end link for the control arm. The sway bar. Yeah, that's a um, 17. Okay, and that's what I'm replacing. So the other nut is on the back there. Okay, but for now, I guess I'm just gonna see how the bones loose now of course from the bottom that the bolt being out okay that's the bottom bolt 19 okay just kind of tapped it out you can uh, put the ratchet on it when the nuts off and if you turn it it'll kind of come out a little bit too and if you wiggle the strut if you wiggle everything you might be able to pull the bolt out okay so now basically yeah. So the wishbone is gonna see how it's already separating. See, it's already separating. So. Caught on something here. Great. Little bit of doing. snug there all right so let me get the strut out all right it's easy enough I'm just gonna go ahead of course get the three nuts here I'm gonna hold it while I'm getting the, I'm taking the nuts off so that's all front like that all right and that is the old one obviously yep and then uh, on the back side you it's got this little indent that's for the bolt so 
this of course faces to the to the engine towards the inside the bolt to hold it in there alrighty so now what I'll do is um, get in the control arm here So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to get the new one ready so when I take this off this isn't just dangling I'm able to hold it and then put the new one in okay and, uh, and then I'm going to do I'm going to do some cleaning too up in top there around where it's going to sit I'm going to just do some brake cleaner and then when I take this out the sway bar where the where the sway bar Pushing where it sits. I'm going to clean that really good with brake cleaner all inside. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got the bolts off for the control arm, upper control arm, and then the nut here so I could get that out of the way. Okay, I'm just going to hold this while I'm. Uh, I said I'm gonna I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner on both sides here. Okay, let's clean this area. Really good. Yeah, you can see how nasty. It's just, of course, grease and stuff. So, so I'll hit that. Okay. On the other side. One more time. So what I'm going to do, the spots where the uh, control arm sits, okay, I got some, uh, I got some marine, marine grease, okay, and I'm going to just put some grease on the sides here, yeah, that's stuff right there. Multi-purpose marine grease. Yeah. So, just hitting the sides right where the where the bushing where it's gonna hit. Like that. This is just something you think they would have did from the factory. Maybe it wouldn't have been this squeaky, but. Who knows? Maybe the grease wouldn't have held up either, so like, I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. So now I'm just gonna put the control arm. And I did the same with the control arm. I went ahead and put grease on both sides. Okay. Alright. It's just gonna sit in there nice. Easy. I'll wiggle it around to get the bolt in there, of course. Alright, that's one started. And just got the other one. You could kind of pull, or you can just put it in there. And I put a little grease right here too, where it's going to sit. Okay, and I don't think that's the nut there. Nope. Just gotta find it. I think that was it. Yep. Yeah. 
so this is the nut yeah so this is the nut because it's got the cuts for the for the cotter pin okay it comes with a new cotter pin all right so I'll snug that up all right and then I'll tighten these up Okay, and then uh, let's see, once I do that, I'll go ahead and put the strut in. So I'll just go ahead and uh, show you, I got the torque settings here, torque numbers. Hopefully, if the computer comes back up. Alrighty. Alright, so there you go. Okay. That's all the torque ones. You can kind of get out of the. Out of there. Alright. Okay, so I got those, those all torqued up, tightened up there. Okay, the grease is not right there. Cutter pin comes with that. Um, then I went ahead and got the, the end link on. Okay, yeah, this thing is it's kind of fun because as you're turning the nut, the inside turns so let's see so what you got to do is when you got the wrench on it I think the old one is uh, 17 and the new one was um, 18 the nut okay so what you got to do is get a wrench on the inside okay and that's uh, 17 on the inside Okay, and then you got the, like that, okay, when you're taking off and then when you're tightening it, or else this just spins when you're trying to do whatever, tighten it loose. All right, so I got that on and I put a little grease, you know, both sides, okay, where it's, uh, yeah. Where the little bearing or the, you know, the little dilly is right there. I put a little grease where it's gonna hit on the sway bar and then it's gonna hit on the, the wishbone. Okay, all right. So here's the, all right, so I took the wishbone out. It's very easy to do, slides out because what I do is um, I clean the all in here with brake cleaner, okay. And if you look in there, you can see where the bolt goes. Okay, the bolt is gonna, right here is where it's gonna be hitting the strut, at the bottom, so. All right, so, let's see, it goes that way, because the end link goes towards the rear of the car. So, that's where the, the end link, so. All right, so put that, and then what I did is, up there, I went ahead and brake cleaned all that, under there and then on top where the struts going so it's nice and clean okay so basically it's just putting it back in here it's easy enough to do you just gotta go over where the just gotta go over where the drive axle is and then go down to where the where the bolt is so you gotta kinda hold the it's already dropping in but you gotta get the brake lines out of the way that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's do that. All right, 
so that dropped in place so now I'm just gonna grab the strut from the front okay so now the recessed area where the bolt goes goes towards the engine so okay Must have dropped a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and jack it up a hair. See how it's moving it out of the way. Upper control arm. So once that moves it out of the way, now we can go ahead and do this. And then the brake line's gotta be on the front of the strut. Okay, so make sure those are out of the way. And I put that up through there to get the to get the wishbone I think I'm gonna go ahead and yeah I'll just put the nuts on here gonna get these loose So, now with the uh, wishbone, so now I'm going to drop it down a little bit, okay, lower that, now I can get the wishbone in, just like that. Now it's nice and clean, so it slid right in, and now I'm going to go ahead and get the Get the bottom bolt in. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wiggle a little bit. Maybe lower the the jack down all the way where it's on the control arm. The lower control arm. So yeah, that's not too bad. So it's getting there. See, yeah. Just take some wiggling. That's it. Okay. Alrighty. Get that in. There we go. That on. And I'm going to do the 17 for the bottom of the strut here. Yeah, I think it's pretty dirty. Kind of rusty. Yeah, so that's where for the back here. The wishbone and the strut. Kind of wiggle it since everything's loose. Okay. Everything's loose, it can wiggle it until you get that started. And that's a 17. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and tighten these up um, and then uh, the wishbone, okay, and let's see. So this is pretty tight, so if you see here, if you see here how this is aiming up, you can get pliers and just bend this down a little bit so it will slide in here easier. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up bottom, bottom of the strut, and here, 
and then the brake lines and it's it's good to go so yeah All right, so everything is torqued down. 19, 17, all right. And then for the control arm, snug down. I think those are 12s. Uh, 14, no, those are 14s. I think this is I think that's a 15. 15. And then uh, is the 18s for the new sway bar deal and link. And then for the grease fittings, um, I didn't have any grease, or else I probably would have tried to put some in here. You know, I mean, there's probably some in there, but if I had some, I was going to try to pump some in there. So that's all snug. It there, yeah, and then the brake lines. Of course, this one, like I said, you don't have to undo this one, the one towards the front, it's the one in the center here, and then these come out. It's a bracket, and then the back, this one right there for the brake line. Okay, I think those are uh, those are like 12s, I think they were 12s, something like that, yeah. All right, so that's there. And I went ahead on here. Uh, let's see. Let's see what size those are. I think they're, uh, yeah, the old bolts. What I see, I doubled up. So I think the new ones are 15s and then the old bolts. Uh, the old nuts, 14s. Yeah, so 15. So what I, that's what I do. Look at the other side. Got the other side done, I think I was saying. So what I do is uh, with the new ones, I snug these up, okay? Get those tight. And then I put the, um, these are the old ones, the old nuts from the old struts. So, and then I'll go around and just snug these up. Do that with all the, the struts I change. You get just extra security. So, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so now to the back. Um, yeah, this is really easy. First thing, um, I got a jack, just like the front. I'm just under control arm here. Just raised it just to snug it up a little bit not lifting it much just keep it tight and then what i do is um nothing's really going to happen on this one but i went to put the i put the chain on anyway and uh this one's not moving because of the sway bar um as far as the spring but what i do is i have a piece of chain that goes around see it comes out the bottom okay and then i just put something to secure it so by chance, if the spring ever did let go, you know, it's not gonna go too far, but obviously you still wanna be careful. Um, so yeah, so while we're down here, so for the, let's see. So for the, right there, you can see this is the bolt right here. Okay, that's a, that's a 19. Um, and that's only the nut there, the nut, a lock washer and a washer. And then you don't have anything on the other side. There's no, there's no bolt. It's like a stud. Okay. So that's all you got right there for the bottom of the shock. And then two 14s for the top. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray these down with WD first. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. And then I'll show you. As far as removing the shock, so I'm gonna get the bolts out. So, all right, so this is the old shock, as you can see. Um, and of course, this was on like this, so 
So I had to remove the nut. That was kind of rusted. Um, but see how like that. And then on the end here, you could put a, put a wrench to hold it while you're turning. Turning the nut here. This is the new one. Okay. I forget what size. Uh, it's a 17. The new one's 17 anyway. I think the old one is. But anyway, yeah, so you can hold that while you get that off. And then you got to take the old... Uh, old boot here it's a little snug okay just gonna wipe it down a little bit on the inside it's a great cleaner I already wiped the outside a little bit so it's a little bit nicer okay and then on this you want to just take it's got this little brace here, or this little bracket to hold the shock in place. <coughs> so, let's see, I don't have a screwdriver, so you can push it in a little bit and then just get this to release. That's the plan, anyway. Screwdriver would be easier, I don't have one though. Okay. This is just sliding on the new one, like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna just put a little grease on the top here. The marine grease. Okay, that goes like that. And then this little tab, the little tab that says right or left, it goes out. See, and it has like a little dot there. So, press that, get the nut on. Like I said, it's going to keep turning. So, I'm just going to get a wrench on this on the end here. Kind of see what I mean here, yeah. So you just got to hold that while you're turning this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put grease on the end here on both sides of the bottom of the shock, and then on the stud for the shock where it goes in the bottom there. Yeah, it's too dark, but anyway, I put grease on there, and then on here, okay. Yeah, so I did have, uh, these nuts were, were like stripped um, from the factory, I guess they used the air tool. The left side it was, you know, not too bad, I was able to use the tap, tapped it out. The right side took a little time to clean out the threads, okay, and you can't get to it from the inside, okay. All right, give me a second, I'll show you what I mean. See, now I thought I can get to the inside and maybe spray some WD-40 on it, on the top of the bolts. But, see that little piece, the end of the seat I removed? There's just a bolt on the bottom and a clip on top that removes, but there's no opening. Okay, yeah, there's no way, and in the back there's nothing, you just can't get to where the top is, so, tried that, and uh, anyway, so, yeah, alright, so I got the bottom of the shock greased, and then I'm just putting it in, okay, I still got to slide it on the, like the, the stud there. Okay, all right, and then up there, 
got to do is pull down on it. See, see that? Okay, just got to pull down on the shock. Okay, and you got to be on an angle for the bottom to get that in there. Yeah, it takes a little do in there. I think I'm gonna go grab the. There. Hold on a second. I think I do need that, uh, the jack for the bottom. Okay, I do need to jack that up a little bit so I could slide the bottom of the shock on. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. Alright, so I got the jack and raised it a little bit. Um, you know, control arm, but it was still pretty tight in there to slide that on. So I just got a, got the rubber mallet, helped it, just tapped it. Okay. And of course with the grease, it helped it slide in. And then, uh, so in there, I mean, you could just, yeah. See, like I said, the little tab says left or right sticks out. And plus on both sides, it's got some red paint, or I think the other might be a different color, but it's got paint on the sticking out. So now these line up, all I gotta do is put the bolts on. Okay, 14s, torque these babies down and that's it, and that's done. Yeah, so the rear is very simple. Um, I mean, there are of course upper and lower control arms you can do. You know, I got the control arms over here with the bushings and stuff. And over back here, you can redo those. Um, but yeah, I get, I get my chain out of here. Like I said, this really didn't do too much. But for other vehicles, you know, it's just good to throw that chain on there. So like I said, just tighten that up, the bottom of the shock there. That's 19 and the two 14s, that's done. Um, and then also what I do is, I have a little notebook, okay? I've got a little book that I put the date and then what I did in the, and then uh, the mileage. So when I first get a vehicle, that's what I do. I've got a notebook for each one, so yeah. Alrighty, so that's the front struts and uh, the shocks, rear shocks. And of course the upper control arms and the end links on the 08 Sonata. So, so hey, thanks for watching and subscribing. Take care. Alright, bye now.